Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we're looking at the X-Wing 2.0 T65 X-Wing pack, the expansion pack. So, uh, I do like the new packaging, I have to say that straight off. Um, it looks much nicer than the old packaging and looks easier to get into, but uh, as we'll probably discover in a second, it really is not. Um, so this part of it is easy to get into. Uh, you've got all your tokens and cards and stuff like that in there, and then this bit. Ah, no, uh, definitely gonna need the knife. <laughs> um, much, much easier to get into it with a knife. I apologise for the noise. Hopefully, you are not wearing headphones. Otherwise, you may not be able to hear anymore. Uh, and there is our miniature. So, we have the component list, uh, which basically just says what's in there. And no rule changes with the T65, so it's just that one little sheet there. Uh, and then let's look at the miniature. Okay, so. Very nice, you can see the little uh, astromech there as well. And the best thing about these is, ooh, wings open, close, open, close. I can probably sit here for the entire video and just play with that, um, but I shall not. It also rotates because of the way the, uh, the way that the wings fold. So when they're open and locked, uh, it doesn't move, but when you close them, you can kind of tilt the ship as if it's uh, banking. So yeah, cool miniature. Glad they've kind of gone the extra mile to have the uh, S-foils open and close. Uh, we've also got the, the flight stand. Uh, still on a small base. They haven't bumped those up to medium. And then we've got the stuff that lets you play the game. We need all the tokens and cards. So let's have a look at what we've got. Or not. Uh, oh, there it goes. FFG in their little baggies. Right, so we've got tokens. You've got the ship tokens, so Wedge, Garvin and Red Squadron Vet and Thane Kyrell. And we've got... Uh, yeah, I forgot what those are. I want to say Island Tokens, but... Are they? I've completely blanked. Um, you got Disarm Token there though. And Charge Token. And some more Charge Tokens. So Charge Tokens, uh, a lot of the cards and some pilots have Charge Counters on them. Uh, when you spend it, you flip it over to the red side to show it's been used. And there are ways of getting those back, so you can flip them back over when you do get them back. Um, you've also got shield tokens, which are the same. Um, so the new shield tokens are square. Let's let that focus for a second. And yeah, again, you flip them over to the red side when they're spent. And if you recuperate any of your shields, you can flip them back. And these are the new target locks as well. So double-sided. Kind of useful. Um, and then we've also got Bigs and Blue Squadron Escort. So the maneuver dial, a little bit different. It's got the Rebel um, artwork on it, which looks quite nice. And yeah, the maneuver dial uh, pretty much got a couple of extra maneuvers on there. Um, so you've got the Talon Roll, the standard, uh, the 4K, and I mean, lots of threes which are all white, apart from the, uh, the talons, and lots of twos which are blue, because green has turned into blue now, uh, with the two white hard twos, and then the gentle one and one straight is a blue maneuver. On to the cards. First up we have our pilot cards, so we've got Wedge, which is a red two. While you perform an attack, the defender rolls one fewer defense dice, uh, that's really good. Uh, anything that gives you extra dice or takes dice away from your opponent, always going to be good. 
You've got Thane Corral. Uh, while you perform an attack, you may spend a focus, a uh, hit or a crit result to look at the defender's face down damage cards, choose one and expose it. So that is look at their face down cards and flip it face up. So it also gives you information about what's left in their damage deck. Um, and also situationally, this is really, really good. You can, um, especially if you don't have a focus available and you can just spend that focus if it's going to waste um, and just be like, okay, you're about to shoot back. Um, I'll flip over like blinded pilot or something like that. So really useful. You got Garvin Drays. So after you spend a focus token, you may choose one friendly ship at range one to three. That ship gains a focus token. Very good ability. You got Biggs, uh, who while another friendly ship at range zero to one defends, before the neutralize result step, if you're in the attack arc, you may suffer one damage or one crit to cancel one matching result. So Biggs takes one for the team, um, as he did in the trench run. Then you've got Red Squadron Vet, which is one of the generics, and a Blue Squadron Escort, the other generic. So, decent range of pilots there. So four named, two generics, and yeah, just gives you the ability to fly just a good variety from the one kit. Uh, then you've got your quick build um, cards. So if you just want a quick pickup game, um, you can use these builds and it basically just gives you all the upgrades that come with it and what you should put on it. And then on to our upgrade cards themselves. So you got Selfless, which is a rebel only upgrade. So while another friendly ship at range zero to one defends, before the neutralized result step, if you're in the attack arc, you may suffer one crit to cancel one crit. Um, so yeah, much like um, Biggs ability, um, Apart from Biggs, has a slightly better ability in the sense that you can cancel hits as well. Whereas Selfless is only crits. Uh, but if you've still got shields on the ship that has Selfless on it, and I don't know, you really don't want to take a crit to the hull of uh, of the ship that's about to take it, Selfless is very good. Uh, then you've got Iron Torpedoes. So spend a target lock, and then you can spend a uh, charge counter off this. If the attack hits, spend a hit or a crit result to cause the defender to, su fuff, eh, to suffer one hit damage. All remaining hit and crit results inflict ion tokens instead of damage. So you can load your opponent up on ion tokens and watch them just fly straight forwards. Um, always good. And you are rolling four attack dice at range two to three uh, with no range mods. So yeah, quite nice. And you got R2 Astromech. Uh, two charge counters on him. After you reveal your dial, you may spend a charge counter and gain one disarm token to recover one shield. So if you're running away, um, um, you've you just jousted or something and you've taken um, a couple of hits to your shields, you can, uh, and you know that you're not going to shoot on the next round, you can recover a shield using one of the charge counters. You know, R4 Astromech, which is decrease the difficulty of your speed one to two basic maneuvers, um, which is a small ship upgrade. And I mean, it's all right on this dial. I mean, your ones are already blue. So it's only really your, um, your hard twos that are affected by this. So maybe not the best on an X-Wing, but it does give you more options. Um, so, you know, if you might need to to hard to, um, but also you might want to de-stress. So situationally okay, but not great. And then last but not least, we have the servo motor S foils card. So they uh, they begin open, and before you attack, you can flip the card to close them. So while you perform a primary attack, roll one fewer defense attack dice. Sorry. Um, and again, before you activate, you can put this card back. So at the start of your turn, you can essentially just open or close the S-foils. When they're closed, you do gain the boost action on your bar, and you can also spend a focus to perform a red boost. So spend a focus to um, 
boost and then give yourself a stress. So quite useful. Um, again, it, it's fairly situational, like the red boost thing, but gaining a boost on your bar is pretty good, I uh, have to say. So in overall, um, nice little kit. Obviously, if you're gonna be flying X-Wings and you wanna you know, build on like the core set, for instance, this is a good place. Uh, get your second ship. Uh, if you're a veteran player, uh, most of this stuff, if not all of this stuff, in fact, is in the conversion kits. Uh, yeah, everything is in the conversion kits, although that is not listed as being in the conversion kit, but is actually in the conversion kit. Uh, in the special little pack that you get. But yeah, I mean, it's an X-Wing. It is the namesake of the game, and it is a good ship. So, well worth getting one, really. And uh, remember, you can buy and sell any of the components you've seen in this video on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. And stay tuned for more X-Wing 2.0 videos. We'll be doing the entire range. And yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.